Howdy, howdy. Welcome everyone. On today's show, we're gonna be decorating this baker's cabinet for spring. And wait till you see what I found on Amazon. He's so cute. Everyone, I would like to introduce you to Mr. Hippity Hop. You see, he hippity hopped all the way onto a UPS truck and right to the doorstep of my front door. Is he not cute? Check him out. He's rather large too. Look at him. And he looks weathered and he's so cute. I just love him. Okay, Mr. Hippity Hop, what do you say? Let's decorate. So currently this is what I have here and this is rather boring. And so we need to jazz this up. So if you're new to my channel, this gray, you know, scrolly wooden metal wall art piece, I got at Ross and it goes this way, but I turned it sideways just because, well, just because I do things very unconventionally all the time. Why? No one knows. No one knows. Not even me. If someone says, Liz, hang it right side up. I'm like, nah, let's hang it right side down. So currently I have this adorable little lamb and a topiary. So boring, so boring. We have to change that. This is what was left after Christmas and uh, we can't have that. That does not look, that's just, that's too minimal for me. We all know that. <laughs> Let's add lots of stuff. may bring this lamp back. I'm not sure. It's just, it's so adorable. I found this at a little country store in town and I snatched it right up because I thought the um, lampshade was unique. It's different. It's cute. And I loved, I just, you know, I love finding unique lamps. I found this bucket and I think it's super duper cute. I love how it's kind of looks rusted with the galvanized steel with the beautiful design. I snatched this right up. I have no idea what I paid for it, but it was cute. Also at the store, they had a lot of primitive uh, decor, you know, country decor. And because we live in a log home, I thought, why not? So I found this Pitberry garland and it's, it's almost like a purpley blue with a yellow. I've never bought a Pitberry Garland with, with these colors. Yellow, yes, but not this dark, deep, bluish purple. But I thought it was really striking. I really wanted two, but all they had was one. So I snatched it. And what I'm gonna do is put it in this bucket. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then kind of play with it. I don't know, something like this. And you have to play with these things. It takes a little fluffing, but I think it looks prettier when it's fuller in appearance um, instead of just, you know, I think it looks really pretty, right? I am gonna set that up up top. So Mr. Hippity Hop just whispered in my ear and he said he wants to look rather dapper for this show and could I please dress him up and put a ribbon around his neck. So I got my scissors, got my ribbon. I'm gonna tie a cute little bow around his neck to make him happy. See, that did the trick. Super cute. Just look at him. He's speckled and he's cracked and he's chippy and he's mossy. I just love him. He looks like he's been out in the garden. Now I do have a placemat that somewhat matches this. So I thought this might be kind of cute to throw it off the edge of the baker's cabinet. Now 
Now the reason I hung it off to the side is so that when I go to open this door, it doesn't interfere with this, you know, hanging right here. Makes sense? I am winging it right now. Normally I gather a bunch of items and then I kind of plug and play. I don't have anything. I, all I grabbed really was the bucket, the bunny and the pit berries. I don't know what to, I don't know where to go from, from here on out. Hmm. I guess we'll just have to play. So up you go, hippity hop. So I just grabbed this, this cute little uh, topiary. And I found this at the same country store. And she said these were there at Christmas time and they were literally 50% off. So I got this one and a round one. And check this out, it's got a little button right here. When you push it, lights go on. Look. Is that not cute? I don't know. I'm thinking of putting it sort of up there. More texture. You know I'm all about my texture. Well, I don't usually get like this. Get like, get like this. Get like this. Get like this. Well, let's go into the storage room and see what we can find. Here's the Easter section. I also have a bunch of bunnies right here. Hmm. I kind of want an Easter egg. Let me see. I have some over here. It's awfully dark. I didn't turn my, uh, my lights on. So I'm trying to keep it fun because... Once I get this all decorated, I, my hope is that the kids will spend more time down here because I haven't really had it decorated and it's been a disaster down here in the basement with boxes and whatnot. No one's been hanging out down here. We have to change that. So I'm gonna make it look cute, but I found a little nest full of Easter eggs. That's what it looks like. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna snug this right here. And I want the Easter eggs to show. I know a lot of you will say, put it flat. That doesn't look right. But um, but I like it. it I think it's cute. This kind of reminds me of a carrot top, which I think is kind of cute. Again, I'm adding more texture. I'm thinking I might try this. Next, I have this and it's just some little carrots and some florals and some greenery. And I may just set it right here and add some of these carrots. So I decided to take this away and I'm just leaving carrots up there, if you can see. I took the Easter eggs away in the nest and I put the carrot thing standing up in amongst this greenery and then added this carrot uh, grouping right there. Next, I have these plates. I shared these with you at Christmas. I found them on Amazon. I absolutely love them. And I'm just gonna place them in there. I like the pops of black and white. Thank you. 
what you guys are getting on today's show is Liz being indecisive. Now, if you watched last Friday's video where I added this, I kept adding to my mantle. Some of you said, Liz, take those out of the display and it'll be fine. I came down here. I looked. You guys were right. So I've decided to remove the carrots. I've moved them here and I'm going to put the tulips right here. Much better. So I'm in my storage room looking for yet another carrot. Here, carrot. Here, carrot. Where are you? that's pretty cute. I've got a carrot there, a carrot there, and I made the greenery on the tops of the carrot. One, one is going this way, the other greenery is going that way. So I think it's, it's pretty cute. So in this display, I want it to almost look like fun, mischievous bunnies are in the garden trying to get the carrots. So I've got this little bunny. Does he not look like he got caught with his hand in the cookie jar? I'm just saying. We're really going to make him look like that. Stay tuned. look like he's been a little mischievous like he's just gotten into something hmm I wonder what that could be let's try and put a carrot right there so it looks like that's what he's been doing he's been trying to get into the carrot patch shame on him for stealing mr. McGregor's carrots I wanted to add two more of these on this shelf, but they won't fit. So these will have to go down below. Next, I'm gonna add this adorable plate with two of these bowls. two bowls we're gonna add American moss to the bowls because we've got green going on all over the place, let's tie the green up top to the green below.
Mr. McGregor is certainly not going to be happy because these bunnies are stealing all of his carrots. Bad bunnies. So because we have carrots going this way, I decided to put a couple carrots in with this guy. So when you step back, that's what it looks like. All right, guys, on our last shelf, um, I'm gonna add a plate and a bowl on each side. And now I have this cute little urn Got this at Michael's years ago and a little topiary ball. And isn't that cute? I'm gonna put this to fill in in the middle, just like that. And now we're gonna bring in a bit of an organic fill with these two grapevine balls. And what I'm gonna do is set one in each bowl. Now to finish this whole look off, I've got a real mischievous bunny here. He, you see, he's, you'll see, just hold, stick with me. More American Moss right here, just a sprinkling. gosh will you look at that he's eaten so many carrots he, he's so full he's laying back like oh my gosh I ate too much and he's doing a balancing act with carrots on his little tippy toes and beside him he's just he's so full so full but happy as can be oh was he mischievous <laughs> I made a little change. I had this sweet little uh, bird's nest with a feather on it. And I thought I would just set it right beside the bunny. So in explaining this display, just please keep in mind that obviously I am not a less is more kind of person. We all know that. Um, I like store displays. I just when I go in there, like I said, I study them, I look at them, and I try to replicate them here in my house. Again, not all over the place, but when I have a big room and I have, this is sort of a focal point wall, I don't have other things going on really on either side. There's a chair next to this, but anyway, um, I think I can get away with it. So I think it turned out really cute for spring. I hope you guys like it, and remember, if you're a less is more kind of person, um, hopefully you can take some ideas that I've done here, if you like it, and maybe try something in your house. So with that said, let's give this a once over and we will be done.
right, my sweet friends, the show is now done. But before I go, I was thinking about all of you the other day and I was feeling so completely blessed. And I'll tell you why. And I just feel like now's a good time to say it. When we moved to this house, we moved here because we loved it. I did have some hesitation in buying this house because I thought, gosh, I've worked so hard with my channel. Am I gonna lose subscribers? Because let's face it, a log home is not everyone's cup of tea. And to my surprise, so many of you have stayed and stuck it out with me. And it shows loyalty and people who are loyal are everything to me. Those kind of people are hard to find in this day and age. And so I just, you know what? I wanna thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I want you to know how much this, this girl appreciates it. You stopping by, uh, to see me when you can and leaving me a comment knowing very well that this girl is terrible at commenting back Just please know even though I'm lousy at it. I I appreciate it. So so very much you guys have no idea so I just wanted to let you guys know that and Thank you again for stopping by and I will see you guys Friday A special guest will make his appearance Stay tuned. It's not my husband. It's somebody else. Stay tuned. Bye, guys.